Welcome to Century One. In this video, we will discuss what actionable alerts are, as well as the questions you should ask yourself prior to setting up these alerts. An actionable alert is an alert in which a response is necessary for the continued operation of your environment. An example of this might be that your critical payroll server goes offline and you are scheduled to print checks for your vendors and employees. In such a case, there are a few questions that you should be asking yourself. Who should receive this alert? What action is most effective in getting a response from this person, such as text or email? Is there an escalation path set up to contact the next person on the list if that person does not respond in a timely manner? There may be more questions depending on the environment you are responsible for and the policies that govern your workplace. Let's take a look at how we can address these three questions within Century One. Let's first take a look at how to select the individual users or groups of users that we want to receive our alert and what actions will be best by doing the following. Select View and Conditions from the menu, select the Condition Action pair we are concerned with, and select the Action Settings tab within the Conditions pane. In this case, I will select the SQL Server Offline condition with the Send Email action from the list under the Failsafe conditions, and I'll select Darth Vader to receive the alert. Now if Darth Vader doesn't respond and this server has been offline for 5 minutes, I want this alert to get escalated to me. I will do this by adding another SQL Server Offline condition by following these steps. Select the Add button, select the SQL Server Offline condition, select the Send Email action from the list, and click the OK button. Now with this new condition selected in the list, I will select my name in the Action Settings tab. To add the logic for only firing this alert if the offline condition has lasted over 5 minutes, I will do the following. Select the Rule Set tab and click the New button. Enter a name. Change the type to Time Based. In the Process Actions After, type in 5 minutes and select the Save button. Once we click away from the Conditions pane, our settings are saved. If you have any questions about this information, or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.century1.com. Thanks for watching.